Alright. Leaving the hospital. Okay, that's our exit, but I want to make sure we don't miss out on any health drinks. We are gonna need them. Drink. drink. Pick it up. Wow, his hitbox is very strange. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So let's take a look at our map, see where we're at. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so we got a few places we could go. We could follow this up to the theater. There's also public records. There's also a taco shack. Uh, we could go down. We got the lumber yard. Okay, it looks like it wants us to go to Cedar Grove Sanitarium. So, if that's the direction it wants us to go. Let's go in the opposite direction. health drink through there. I don't remember how we get get that health drink, but let's take a look at our map. Okay, we gotta go all the way down to Midway. Oh, can't go this way. There's another health drink here. Huh? Alright, so it wants us to go to the character's left, we're gonna go to the character's right. All being chased by a bunch of straight jackets or smogs or whatever they're called. Those things make a few appearances in a few different games for a few different reasons, so... Okay, we're walking around Town Hall, which is interesting. That's... Oh, you can actually climb stairs. Interesting. Okay. Alright, what do we got over here? A whole lot of nothing. Okay, we can keep going down to Toluca. So what I'm thinking is we go down to Toluca, check the butchers. I'm guessing this is probably going to be blocked off. Go back, go up Borden Street, check the lumber yard, the tavern, and go down Acadia. So. Okay, 
Yeah, there's just a giant dead end. Let's take a look at our map. Can't go that way, can't go to the butchers, can't do any of that. Okay. Are they still running, huh? Oh, but there is a... We can't go into the butchers. Oh, there's even a save point in here. What? Whoa. That's not good. inside. Yeah, me too, Kratos. Me too. I believe this is where we meet a new friend. It's the Butcher. She's dead. First aid kit. Energy drink. She's been cut almost in half. Neat cleaver. You don't have a map for this area. Question is, do we need one? Missed vocalization. And no, that wasn't a pun on that there's fog everywhere. That was a, literally me just referencing that it sounds like it's a song from the game Mist. <laughs> okay. Let's see. You know, I really don't remember the sanatorium. I remember the motel. I know we're going to end up over here. You guys are guarding something. If I remember correctly. Yep. Oh, I will read that in a second. If you double tap X, you accidentally skip stuff, so we'll read that in a second. So I get to the other side of the road here. Wrong button. Alright, notes. Parking ticket. She's asleep now. Who is she? Why is she asleep? Why are we concerned? All these questions and more. On this episode of Silent Hill Origins. By the way, this is what the energy, the energy drinks are for. Is so that you can get out of those, like slow phases quicker okay yep and then we go up Acadia and then I want to check over here because I believe we can go through the lumber yard uh, this is a crate I love our this is, this is one thing that a lot of people were not fans of, is uh, because everything it breaks, you end up collecting a whole bunch of weapons. Um, so 
so which I don't I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with a durability mechanic um I think the the problem with durability though is it can be a very unfun mechanic to engage with just in general because RPGs use it all the time right you have to go repair your gear after a big fight or after you die whatever it may be um and the reason why, originally, I think the reason why you do that stuff is it's it's a way to manage resources, essentially. So instead of just having infinite gold to buy whatever you want, whenever you want, you have to make sure you maintain your stuff. It also makes some sense from like a realistic standpoint of, you know, if you if you use a thing enough, it becomes dull or it, it gets damaged. So it, it makes some sense, but... I, I don't think it's necessary to any game. There was a there was a lot of back and forth um, in in the wrench and uh, and they did what is the what is that Zelda game Breath of the Wild? So Breath of the Wild has durability, and the the idea behind the durability is that it want they wanted to incentivize people using other weapons. Um, they also made it a mechanic where whenever a weapon broke, you would do extra damage. So if you knew your weapon was about to break, you could like throw it at somebody, do extra damage, and get a new weapon ready. So, all right, time to go in the sanatorium. Sanitarium. Sanitarium. But, uh, I'm not a big fan of the mechanic, but I, I don't mind it as much as other people. Some some people really, really don't like their ability, and that's perfectly fine. I can understand that. I know there's something out here. Yeah. My 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 brain was like, wait a second. I know things about this area. Well, I remember the outside part. I don't remember the inside part. But But I I Honestly, I don't think a game needs a durability system. Like, a, a great example... I think the best example of, like, using currency in a different way is how Path of Exile handles currency, to where there is no gold. There are no repairs, either. Um, but all of your currency are items that you use to interact with the game. So if you've never played inter uh, uh, Path of Exile... Oh, I get another medical bottle. Um... If you've never played Path of Exile, basically the way it works is you can buy stuff, but you have to use the stones that you can do to change, like, the color of uh, the, the sockets in, in a weapon or something, or that something that adds sockets, or something that changes the properties. Like, everything that you, you use to make your gear better is also a currency item, essentially. Um, and that, I think, is, is really really good way of handling it because what it does is it's like it gives you a reason to pick up all of your currency items at least until you get to the end where you have so many of them that you, you can't see straight but that 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 is only if you grind in game which most people don't even get to so or get to the point where that that's the case obviously a lot of people do get to end game um but uh there was a fountain or something in the middle that had an item but um and I think that's a really good way of handling it. It's just you don't need durability. Uh, you just use your currency items for also as your upgrade items. Okay, so I didn't see anything else. Let's go in here. Please, thank you. But... I do know that was one of the, the main gripes with this game is the, is the durability-based thing. But the thing is, is you, you never technically run out of weapons because you, you can just use your fists. Um, something is blocking it. Nothing of interest on the counter. I need... We need a map. Where's our map at? Don't have any change. Don't have any change. Don't have any. Uh, got a big symbol here. I don't remember where the map is.
but I think it's a legitimate gripe because again, I think can't remember if it's in home going. I know this game obviously definitely has it. Um, but I don't remember if Homecoming has the durability thing. But I don't think it really adds anything to the experience. Um, like, I can't really think of, like, a story reason why, like, durability... I guess if you wanted to kind of stretch it a little bit, you could argue that the durability represents, like, the mental state of being wore down over time. Hey, we got a gun. Now we also have a filing cabinet. Yes, that's a weapon. Um, you, you could you could say that's being like wore down over time, given that Travis is a trucker and he does like long runs and stuff. Like you 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 could kind of stretch it. I don't know if that was ever the intention. Um, but. But I don't know. I, I don't think the, dur the durability is necessary, but we'll see if it becomes a problem, you know, as we progress. Dr. Harris, our magpies have been been at it again. This time they swallowed the dang keys for the archives in the basement. Don't worry, Gary has taken Mr. Magpie to, to the TB ward, and I'm taking Miss Magpie to hydrotherapy. We'll make them spit the keys out. This job would be great if it weren't for the patients, Clem. Well, kind of in the wrong field for that, friend. You're dealing with people with mental illness, they're gonna do, you know, things. Things that you probably do not want them to do. What was that? We looked at something over here. What are we looking at? A baton! We have so many weapons. Blocking it. I'm trying to find the map. If I remember correctly, you spend a lot of time in here. Up oh, there it is. I just don't remember. Because this place is huge. Look at this. Now, it is only only one floor, I think, except... Nope, there's the basement. Yeah, I remember. I was like, wait a second. I remember a weird basement symbol. Yeah, so there's the basement, and then there's the floor. We'll be using the basement as, like, a transit from, like, different corners to other corners. Um, it'll be fun. Uh, we got a note. Uh, patient misredacted, a 34. Examine Dr. Dr. Harris. Parent continues to harbor strong fantasies and violent persecution complex. Her moods can swing from calm to violent aggression in a short time, which has led to her being moved to seclusion wing. She becomes particularly violent during the occasional visits from her husband, demanding that she be allowed to see their child. We have taken the precautionary step of adding epilonium to misredacted medication to prevent her violent outbursts. I don't like having to sedate patients, but when she is aggressive, redacted is as much of a danger to herself as to her visiting husband and the staff. Hmm, I wonder who redacted could be. I'm sure we'll find out in time. Couldn't be anyone important. <laughs> I do remember this place now, <laughs> by the way. Some, I believe this. This should be Dahlia. You were at the fire. I saw you there. Of course you did. That was my house burning. My daughter, Alessa. Yep. You were the one who saved her. Yeah. She was your daughter? Why did you leave her? Why did no one help? You all left that girl to burn. So we did. The world is stranger than you think. You're crazy. What happened to her? Lisa said she was dead. Alessa is with those who care for her. Do not trust her, Travis. She does not know what she is doing. How do you know my name? Hey, answer me. What's interesting is this version of Claudia, the younger version of They're Claudia, crazy. um, we actually see another iteration that's closer to this version. Uh, in Shattered Memories. Um, than we do to the original, like, older, uh, not Claudia, sorry, Dahlia. I always get the two mixed up. 
Claudia's from three. Um, but Dahlia. We see, because we, we'll see Dahlia in shattered memories. There's our save point. Um, and she actually looks kind of close to this version, maybe a little bit younger, which is interesting. And remember, the Shattered Memories is a reimagining of one, so there's a lot of liberties taken with the characters and stuff. Um, okay. Take a look at our map. Storage, storage, laundry. Storage one. Looking at something. Tire iron. Bullets. Bullets. Um, yeah, that's why I'm excited to get into Shattered Memories, because I, I remember really, really liking Shattered Memories. So I'm very curious if that's going to stay true. Because, like, what's interesting is I remember when when I when I announced that we were going to do this playthrough, I was like, man, we're going to have to do Silent Hill 4. I know I'm not going to like it. And uh, we played through it, and I actually did like my time with it, to be honest. Um... Now, I did play it on easy, which I think probably alleviated the biggest issue that I have with the game, is that the, that the enemies are annoying. But, like, just just the simple, like, hey, I don't, I, like, none of these games, as far as I know, I don't think there's a single Silent Hill game that you have to play on hard. I, I think all of them you can play on whatever difficulty, and you could still get all the endings. In fact, it's easier in some games um, to get the endings on easy than it is to get them on harder difficulties. Like Silent Hill 4, for example. It's not impossible to get the good ending on... Uh, on normal. It's just harder because uh, Eileen takes more damage. So... Okay, I guess I see some ammo right here. Yep. Locked. Okay. Um. But. But basically, as far as I know, now again, I'd have to I have to double check on like home gubbing and downpour, but I'm pretty sure it's all based on like interactions with the game. So there's not really a. Oh, you didn't play this on hard. Well, then you don't get you know this ending kind of thing. Now. That might be different for, like, special versions of... What the heck is that? Um, special versions of 2, because I know... I think there's more endings for 2 if you get the... From a Wish stuff. But I don't I don't think that's... I don't think that's tied to anything. I think you can just get, like, an extra ending if you do From a Wish. Which I'm very interested to see how they're going to connect that in the remake. Because From a Wish adds a little bit more depth to like Maria's character. Um, and I, like I said, I'm very curious how they're going to handle that. Alcohol bottle. What are you looking at? Oh, another alcohol bottle. Like, I, I don't know if it's completely necessary, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they do with that. Shotgun ammo. We don't even have a shotgun. I don't know what that was. I think it was our first aid kit. Let's see. So we should have two first aid kits. Yep. 24 ammo, 8 shotgun. I didn't think we got the shotgun here. Might be mistaken. I, like I said, I, I don't remember a whole lot. I do remember this area, and I do remember why we're here, from a story standpoint. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, Travis? Turned your head over here. 
Ah, oh, there's a wrench. Nice. So many weapons. Okay. So we need to go... Let's see if we can go that way. That person was standing. I don't think we can fight these guys, right? I don't think we can fight the shadows. Just not yet. But, uh... Do that just a little bit. Okay. Sorry, I was just adjusting some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna attack her, but she got she got friends. Oh, I was wrong. There is a second floor. I uh, remember remember he mentioned the archive key. Oh, that was a weird interaction, but I'll take it. Get off of me! Bye, friends. Oh, I thought they left you alone if you turned your light off. Hey, look, it's an iron lung. What's it say? Out of use. In light of recent accident, I'm barring the use of the iron lung equipment. It applies to all staff, including senior nurses. Patients' death during therapy are not to be treated lightly. I find it hard to believe that someone could accidentally overload every valve on the equipment. And so, until inquiry has concluded, I must... Wait, what did that say? I must assure or assume the equipment itself is at fault. These precautions are essential. We owe the duty of care to all our patients. All right. So it's one of these puzzles. It's pretty simple. You just gotta. Get all of them to. Overload. And. Something spout out of the iron lung. Oh, gotta get. There we go. Basement key. The the hint is that the note said that it overloaded. So that's all you had to do. Okay. Let's make sure we check everywhere. I wonder if he'll do the thing where it's like if our lights are on, he can't read the map. Nope, he can read the map if he wants to. Okay, so we got DT in front of us. Broken. And blocking. Okay. Let's see, is there anything we missed? There is a... SD over there, an office over there. And we can go down, so... Okay. Down we go. We got basement key. Go ahead and turn that on so we can see a little bit better. Alright, and then we'll save on our way down as we go to the basement. Like I said, the basement is used as like a transitory move between sides. Basement key. Now for the fun part. Not getting lost in the basement. So, storage, door. Okay, we can go this way. If I remember correctly, a lot of this is open. It's just finding out which 
like way up you have to take 